What's up, y'all? It's Poppin' with Cracking It's Deep. I'll reacts to this album and preview bit. It's titled, He Actually Did It. People told me to react to this. This is an update on Asmund Gold. Apparently, he's not being dirty no more, I guess. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> but, but sure, let, let's see what's, what's happening with him. Let's watch. All right, today's topic, uh, follow up on one of my favorite creatives. That's uh, Sargon. A lot of people were mad because of how we covered him last time, but I call it fair, whether I like the person or not. I'm critical when it's deserved, and then I show praise when I think it's deserved. Oh, man, this is going to be no different. So, Man, uh, it's been a crazy two weeks, I'll tell you that. We missed you? Yeah, it's been, uh, it's been, honestly, I'm going to be real, it's been great. Okay, if you don't know what he's talking about, he was banned uh, for a good couple weeks because of what he said about Israel Palestine. He did say some crazy things. Mm -hmm. uh, and he acknowledged it himself. He apologized for it. And, you know, I won't say any more than that. But, um, yeah, there's been some big updates in his life. And I think it's worth discussing. Uh, like, there's been a bunch of people who reached out to me. They're like, are you okay? I'm like, yeah. I've been fine. Like, I've been, I've been so good. I've been relaxed, man. Like, I've been sitting around playing video games, fucking around. I cleaned up pretty much half of my whole fucking house. Oh, the only okay. reason I couldn't do the other half is there's so much fucking garbage in the house. I don't know where to put everything. <laughs> Throw it away. <laughs> what? If it's garbage, what do you, mean you, don't know to, you don't know where to put it. Put it in the trash. <laughs> Shout out to that. I'm so glad there's so much garbage at the goddamn house. Hey, yo. I don't know where to put everything. In the goddamn garbage. That's where. Yeah, 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 yeah. Remember how we talked about him when we came up with that Negro answer? Yeah. Asmund Gold is the trash man. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. If he just waves his wand, trash just appears out of nowhere. All of a sudden, a Diet Coke dropped from the sky. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. His grave is just full of, like... <laughs> People with diabetes and just other kinds of like Lyme disease and shit. And no teeth. <laughs> no teeth. Da -da. A, bit, a bit like, you know, Sneeko getting punched. True. <laughs> no teeth. And if the zombies don't kill you, the smell will. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hit is just a bunch of future bombs. The smell of death. Yo. Just a wild thing to say. I clean up the house. And I couldn't clean the other half because I didn't know where to put the trash. So I posted a couple of pictures in my uh, on my Twitter. Uh, let me see if I can find some of it right here. So I posted, uh, this was my kitchen before uh, the situation. I hate him. I hate him. Why do I need to be subjected to that? Why do you that, live in Phil? Oh, shit. That's not real. You want me to show you what's in there? Oh, shit. No, no, no. No, no, you're not ready, okay? Oh, I think he supposed to put it in there. I don't believe this is real. Ready? A spot. Yeah, he gotta be trolling. You know, no you, uh, way. you know your, uh, you Ain't know your no shit don't get used when there's spiders chilling in your sink. You, and this looks like a scene. You know what this looks like? This looks like one of them scenes from. But considering how his room looks, this is not that far fetched. So, even if you're trying to troll, this ain't the troll you think it is. Because it's actually kind of believable, considering how your room looks, sir. And how crusty you look, sir. So, you no, this isn't an effective troll, if that's what you're trying to do. Fallout. Uh, so, basically, I had, uh, like, yeah, this is, this is what happened. And, uh, you know, kitchen was pretty dirty. I, I thought it was pretty dirty. I hate everybody. Well, <laughs> <laughs> you need to cover up for nah, this. Nah, you don't understand the reference. This is a fallout. Yeah, this is a fallout. Yeah, 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 I look like a fallout. Fall yeah, 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 yeah. And um, I sent this to someone, and this is what it looks like now. Uh, I sent this to someone, and you know what they said? They said your sink was white. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't even know. They had no idea. <laughs> They didn't even know what color my sink was. And so, yeah, and so I cleaned up my whole kitchen. And um, basically, for the first 10 days of my suspension, I Maybe probably spent five perfect. hours on the computer That's total so across all those 10 days. Like, I was, so like back in the day, you guys, this is like way before anybody I was making content like on the internet, because it was like in 2004, 2002, right? I used to spend eight hours playing video games. I used to spend eight hours being outside, active, physical, running around, doing crazy shit. And I used to spend eight hours sleeping, right? Like, that was my life. Oh, and I would be outside, like, building forts, like, going out into the woods, like, doing stuff all the time. And, like, then uh, World of Warcraft came out. And okay. uh, at that point, uh, that eight hours turned into 16 hours. And the eight hours from going outside turned into zero. And so it was really good because, like, I've been exercising and, like, you know, doing all this stuff. I've been physically active probably, like, four or six hours a day. And I feel great. 
I do. I really feel great. It feels awesome. Like, I've been uh, totally relaxed. Everything's been good. So, yeah. You know, they said we were harsh on him, but I mean, you're realizing the same thing that we've been saying. Your anxiety is really because of your element. I am injured right now. My foot has a little fracture in it, so I'm basically not allowed to do much for the next I, six weeks, eight weeks minimum. I feel a difference in my mental. Mm -hmm. Now, I obviously know at the end of the tunnel what I'm in. No, this is a fucking fact. Whenever I take off time from consistently going to the gym and like eating healthy, I notice an immediate decline. And it's so wild how so many people live a life of laziness and inactivity and they're so depressed and they just don't know why you don't understand why i promise you if you implement some type of uh fitness routine and actually start eating healthier foods you will notice a difference but people just don't they they i feel like they hear it and it goes in one ear and out the other they're like yeah but i'm depressed I don't know. you're depressed because you're a bum and you're lazy <laughs> Go do something. Go outside. It improves my mental health, like, significantly. It is night and day. I literally feel so sad when I'm when I'm inactive. So I, I don't know how people live their lives like that. But I, I feel like it comes from a place of ignorance. People just really, do, they just don't know. And I feel like when they hear other people say that, they, again, it goes in one ear and out the other. They don't actually consider the major impact that it has on their mental state but that's probably why you're depressed you eating mcdonald's multiple times a week and you don't work out at all but you wonder why why am i so sad every day your body is dying like <laughs> so therefore your, your brain is not working properly and you got all these fucking mental problems go do something go do something you able to go back outside and enjoy my activities, but you know, after lugging my mom around Europe and then having to carry all her shit and then putting my foot through everything, you know, I came back, my foot was fucked up. And I just, it is what it is. You were your mom's and you. I was. God, I love her. Old people, y'all piss me off. Okay? <laughs> all right, but I say that again. Hey, you know what I'm saying? But she must have felt that way when I was a kid, so I accept yeah. it. All right. But all this is saying, you're gonna feel better, and I'm just, I'm happy for it. I'm happy for him, and, I, and a lot of people were mad at us. Oh, you guys were so harsh. Asmund goes happy. His stress just comes from work or whatever. No. If you are sedentary, it is not good for you up mm -hmm. here. You know? People think That's everything is just mental and then all the stress. No, a lot of stress is physiological. It is something related to your body and how you're treating yourself. Yeah. So I got annoyed at all the people who were running the defense from his fans who were like, you guys, you want to be protected. You know, fans are actually like that. Yeah. They think they're protecting you. Yeah. But in reality, they're just sabotaging your potential for growth. Oh, they're able. sabotaging valid criticism of you because they want us not see you be Any part of criticism is going to be like, yeah. Yeah, they're going to be against it. So all the valid uh, criticism goes against that. It's like when you drink too much water. Mm -hmm. like when you drink too much water first, it hydrates you, but it also flushes out all the electrolytes. Yeah. And you end up cramping, cramping up. That's it. So and you don't dehydrate dehydrated from drinking too much water. It can't happen. So I'm like, what do I do with my time? Like, like I'm not streaming. Like, what do I do with eight hours or ten hours of my day? And so. Yes, I'm back from the shadow room. Exactly. And so I'm sitting out. there and I don't really know what the fuck to do with myself. Clean and then you feel better in your house. house. Um, there was a lot more mold in the house than I thought there was. Gosh, damn. Yeah, I don't think that. Oh, oh, I don't think that picture was a troll at all. First, I was kind of split 50 50, like, he might be trolling the feet into this, but I I think that really came from kitchen. I don't, I don't think he's trolling there. This is so concerning. Oh, this is the mic going in. <laughs> My friends, it is a sickness of the highest order. Uh, Hi. It is deviant, so we don't want it. Uh, oh. you, Isn't nah, that? Nah. He said there was more mold than I thought. That's a hazard, I'm pretty sure. Hasman is a very unique NPC. So I'm gonna need to bring in professionals to do like cleaning of like down down here because I simply don't have the tools for it, right? There are like professional grade tools. Uh, they usually use these on houses where like people die in them and then like the corpse rots into the sofa. And so they have to bring in people in hazmat suits. So we'll probably have to do something like that. But otherwise, uh, yeah, I will have to do that. <laughs> oh, man. I told you, yes, special bro. But that's uh, that, that's beside the point. I will do that, but other than that, I want to clean it all myself because it was primarily my mess that I created. If I have a maid service come in and clean up my house, um, you know, I didn't really do anything. And I was like, I need to do this for myself. And so, like, this entire, like, this uh, table was, like, full of garbage. There was, like, a, I, I think there was, like, a, a rat that oh, came in from the thing. ceiling, and it fell down on the table and got a bunch of dirt there. And so, uh, now, everything's totally clean. A rat came off the ceiling? <laughs> no, he can't. This is not reliable. Oh, my God. Oh my God, rats just don't fall off ceilings. Yeah, yeah. Man, some people just build different, you know? Asmund Gold, he's a survivor. Asmund Gold is Smeagol, before he became Smeagol. 
and everything like that. Some people were looking at uh, this right here. Uh, I do want to address something. Uh, there, there are people looking at this right here and thinking to themselves, uh, wow, this is green. Aspen really is changing his life. He's eating, uh, he's eating uh, vegetables, right? It's like lettuce or something like that. Uh, I, I'm oh, sorry to disappoint, but this is actually um, cake frosting on a cookie cake uh, that I bought uh, for myself personally. Well, well, that's that's frosting. Like frosting. <laughs> it's cake you can see it looks smeared. <laughs> like it's <laughs> God bless it. Uh, it was a Halloween cookie cake. I bought it at the grocery yeah, store uh, for just myself. I've been eating it myself. Now, I haven't punished for that. I, uh, I, I decided I got a bakery. <laughs> I ate 25 cookies in 24 hours. And um, then I threw up uh, somehow 28 cookies uh, in the next two hours. <laughs> what is this? What is this? I think it's great. You know? Uh, the change isn't perfect. People kind of take three steps forward, two steps back. Let Asma do his thing. Just seeing him take accountability in that sense and really changing his life for the better and then broadcasting that makes me happy because we need more positive stuff like this. You know, I bring that up too because some people are like, oh, what, is cleaning your room an achievement? Going to the gym is not an achievement, but for some people it is. For some people, their first time in the gym is like a celebratory thing because they've been too afraid for all their life and, you know, they're in their big body and they just can't. It's just going the first time. So you got to meet people where they're at. Everyone's going to have a different barometer for what success looks like. And for a slob like him, who you saw what his fucking place looked like, cleaning that shit up, it, cleaning... Ironically enough, it's sometimes some of the most cathartic things you can do in life if you've never cleaned. Because it cleans out your mental, it cleans out a lot of the stuff. You get mental clarity just from seeing your space being open. Mm. I think a lot of people's personal space is just oftentimes a reflection of whatever they got going inside. That's why people, when they're going through a depression, what do they stop doing? Showering, stop cleaning, cleaning. stop eating well, right? Their behaviors are a reflection of that oftentimes. When people just do this basic thing that a lot of people do every single day, for them it can be life changing. So we can both be doing the same thing, but it can mean completely different things. So I'm happy for him. Yeah, it's an achievement for him. It comes back to that Jordan Peterson line, even though I don't like Jordan Peterson today, that line still stands for me. It was like, before you go to try to change the world, clean your room. And there's something to be said about that. You know, when your life is in disarray, but you're trying to spread order around, it, it doesn't really work. And so, crazy situation there. Yeah, I know, it was a lot of cookies. A lot, a lot of cookies. So, um, which was good, right? Because, like, that gave me the opportunity to, um, you know, I cleaned up my, uh, my bedroom, too. So, like, I, uh... Like, the only thing that I had left, I thought it would be a good meme. I, I didn't do a lot of this on stream because I was like, this is like, it's stupid. Like, I'm not gonna like, clean everything up on stream for content. Like, this is like my life. I'm trying to fix my life, right? But I will clean out my closet on stream because I have so much stuff in there. And uh, I was like, okay, this is like easy and I can just put it there. Uh, I'll probably do that in a few days. I've got a lot of other things to do. If this video gets to 35K likes, we'll watch him clean his closet and we'll react to it. I want to see what's in his closet. Not gonna lie. I, I, I don't know how much more of this I can take. You know, like watching reality TV, like, bitch, I would never, but keep going. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So anyway, um, I cleaned that up. Uh, this was my, uh, this was my, my living room. Why are you There's showing no living people that these room. things? That is not a living room. That is a maze. There's no room in that room. That is a jungle gym. There is no room. That is a military obstacle course. <laughs> There's no room in that room. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you want to know how fucking weird this place is? They got bottles of drinks and they just put a box on top of it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, we never gonna drink that shit. It's just, it's a stool now. It's just, That's right. Like yep. Yeah. And I cleaned the entire fucking thing. No, and you did it. It's still. I want to fight. <laughs> I want to fight someone. You cleaned. And I cleaned. The you cleaned. This is still a mess. I'm not gonna applaud him from going, for going from filthy to dirty. <laughs> Actually, this is really dirty. Oh, this ain't even. Entire fucking thing. And all of this, I. And it's not, I don't know if it was on purpose, but like just the curtains being open just sounds like a new beginning, doesn't it? Just the curtains being open is like, oh yeah. Because when your house looks as disgusting as his did before, you close the curtains. Yeah. Why are you broadcasting this? This, this and is And all of this, by the way, like for example, like these yeah, are plates that my mom bought for Cody. Cody hasn't been able to pick them up yet. And so uh, they've just been sitting here for like really a couple of years. Uh, these are boxes yeah. for like unboxing on stream. This is a box for like Imaru. And like this is some other box. Like, so, so, and these are, I'm giving this stuff away to like Salvation Army or something like that. And so like a lot of the things that you still see things. here are just like in transit. That carpet gotta go. No, what? That carpet gotta go. Yeah. Carpet gotta go. No, the carpet must be. Oof. Dookie. That carpet, that carpet, carpet to go. That car it probably radioactive at this point. It gotta go. Oh yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. This probably house gotta, gotta go. Just, just, just sir, move. Just leave it all. Okay? Start over. Start a new life. You sound like you're doing well for yourself. I'm sure you can afford it. Just go somewhere else. You have to let this go and start over. This is this is sad. This is a lot. A little bit of everything. But like everything for all intents and purposes is clean, right? Like everything's done, like I'm back no, eventually, right? Not. So yeah. 
Nothing is clean. The couch, the floor, the walls, nothing. So basically, like, are you still talking to your friends? Yeah, no, no, I've got, like, so basically... I guess I can kind of talk about like some personal stuff that I've been going through and like stuff that I'm dealing with. And this is people in his chat saying, "Good job, welcome back, glad you cleaned up, I'm proud of you." The bar is in hell. This the internet is not a real place. Y'all need to, y'all need to remove yourselves from this bullshit because y'all seeing this and being like, "Good, that's that's a great." Bar. I'm not saying you got to shit on him or whatever the case, like I'm doing. <laughs> but at the same time, it just sounds so ridiculous to applaud this when his place is still dirty. He's still living in fields. What are we talking about? I'm whatever, bro. Like things that I, I'm very much like a person where I will share things on stream, but there will be other things that I deliberately do not share. And the reason why is like, I don't like talking about problems that I have because I think that that's like, it's like emotional masturbation. And I would rather only talk about them after they've been resolved or dealt with or in one way or another, um, you know, addressed. Right. And so uh, now I pretty much address them. Uh, so basically all of this stuff happened and, um, Everybody from like OTK and like Starforge and everybody uh, has been massively so supportive to me. Comments. Like, uh, you know, especially like Tips and like obviously like the tech tone has been fucking in the trenches for me. But, uh, you know, Nick and S Band and Emeru and uh, Miz, right? Everybody, they've been totally on my side. They've been really supportive. Uh, Will reached out to me, right? What a great guy. And so I, I have nothing but positivity, but I've got to tell you guys that my involvement, like, I had too many things going on in my life and it was driving me fucking insane. It was like legitimately ruining my life. Like I, I had no time for myself. I was constantly stressed out. I had so many things going on and I couldn't think about anything. I, I like, and, and for my mindset, it's, it's always like, just always keep going, always keep going. It doesn't matter. Like if something bad happens, just keep dealing with it. Uh, you know, like, mm. I think that's an interesting point. Thoughts on that? But in fact, you're not talking about your personal stuff. Uh, mm -hmm. yeah, no, just made one. Talk about everyone. I think we'll probably just stop it there. I, yeah, I don't talk about my personal stuff when it's resolved or not. Often, I choose to give that to myself. I can't understand. I relate to what he's saying as far as like continuing to keep going, push forward, no matter how overwhelmed you are. I burn myself out on a very regular basis, <laughs> but you got to keep going, all right? So I I relate to that. I sympathize with him to a certain degree, but this place is just very disturbing. And uh, I hope he continues to clean or just move. I would really. I hope he does that at some point. I think that would be great for him. And the phrase, uh, wow, I really think that, that was more mold than I expected. Just the fact they expected mold and you didn't do anything about it for all those years is crazy talk. And then you find out that it's actually way worse. But good for you. Good for you to take time to clean. Uh, all these people that was talking shit about, I don't know, you worked too hard. He said him, he said him himself. So there you go. You ain't got much to say about that. Yeah. And I think uh, taking time away from work to be able to recognize you're doing too much is also very good. Yeah, you need time for yourself. You know, I definitely ran into that problem before. Mm -hmm. So you need to be able to delegate things. You need to be able to walk away from some things. And no amount of money and maximizing profits is going to fix that. When you're so caught up in the momentum of all the things that you're trying to do and overcome, it's very hard to be able to, like, I'm going to clean my room. I'm going to cook a meal today. I'm going to go see my friends and family. I'm going to go outside. It's very difficult when you have to juggle all these things. You're just running from one thing to the next. Sometimes you get paralysis. Sometimes having too much doesn't mean you have no time. It just means that you are so mentally encumbered with all the things that you're trying to manage that you just want to do nothing. You mm -hmm. literally don't want to do anything. That's People may try to make, make, piss you off where you just kind of, you don't want to clean, so things just pile up. And you're like, I'll get to it eventually, but you just don't because you're just so mentally shot. Cool. So, you know. It's one of those situations where I'm just happy for him. And I hope it sets a good example for, for the people watching. Because um, I think a lot of people could do well to take care of themselves in the same manner. Especially if you were caught up with twitching and, um, you know, what the young people do. Okay, that last part he put into uh, perspective a bit. Um, I do understand where he's coming from, from that angle. Um, but at the same time, even if you don't have the time or just the mental capacity to clean your space, at the very least, you could call someone to clean it for you. I mean, they literally have businesses dedicated to cleaning your space. You just give them the money and get out their way and they take care of everything. So I don't think there's an excuse to live in this level of filth. And what makes this worse is he got banned for saying some very disgusting things. And 
it's just very ironic that you would say those disgusting things about other people when you live a life like that. So, you know, there's that. But I don't know this man. I've never watched any of his content whatsoever. I don't know the backstory or, or what he's been going through or whatever. But I, I do wish him the best and I hope he gets it together. But this did disturb me a bit watching this. You know, I wasn't expecting this. But anyway, y'all let me know what y'all think. Let me know what other videos I'm going to watch and I'll see y'all next time. Bye!